Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you a few things that you shouldn't do when you're playing as a raid. Let's not waste any more time and jump straight into the video. Alright, number one. Don't approach survivors openly. One of the biggest mistakes you can make while playing as a raid is approaching survivors openly. I know he is buffed and he won't be visible to the survivor until he gets decently close to them. But a lot of skilled survivors have a very good reaction time and hence they are able to react quickly when they see a glimpse of the raid's invisible state which could give them an advantage. So it is best to always try to sneak up on survivors by hiding behind behind objects and by avoiding their line of sight. Since he is a stealth killer, approaching survivors in this fashion will not only get you extremely close before alarming them, but also give you an opportunity to land a surprise hit as they won't have enough time to react. Moving on to number 2, don't uncloak yourself in their line of sight. Like I said in the previous point, let's say you do approach them in a stealthy way. But after that, if you start uncloaking right next to them, where they can see you during the uncloaking animation, then that will possibly give survivors a head start. Instead, try to uncloak while in cover and while being hidden from their line of sight. Doing so will give survivors a surprise and leave them with a very little amount of time to react. In some cases, you may also end up giving them a little jump scare and force them to run into you as they will only hear your uncloaking sound but won't see where you are approaching them from. So avoid uncloaking in their line of sight. Also, keep in mind that a skilled survivor might spot your location just by listening to your bell sound when you uncloak. Let's move on to number 3. Avoid getting burned by flashlights. Not many people know about this and if you're one of them then yes, Wraith can get burned by flashlight when he he is cloaked. So keep that in mind when you're playing against a survivor with a flashlight. And when compared to the time it takes Raid to uncloak, burning him with a flashlight actually takes lesser time. That means even if you manage to get close to the survivor, they can burn you with a flashlight even before you can uncloak and getting burned will stun you for 5 seconds which is more than enough time for the survivor to get a head start and gain some extra distance on you. Let's go to the number 4. Don't uncloak on pallets. You see blocking pallets and windows is a very powerful strategy but sometimes we lose our focus and actually stand on the pallet and get surprised when survivors drop it on us and stun us. It's a very small point but makes a huge difference when playing against a competitive team. This one mistake could sometimes make you lose an entire game. Sometimes it may look as if you're standing far enough from the pallet but because of hitboxes you may still get stunned. I know it's a minor point but since blocking pallets and windows is a popular strategy as a raid I feel it's important that I let you know about this. And this last tip is an exclusive one just for you guys. Take full advantage of your speed. When Raid cloaks himself, his speed increases. After the buff, he became even faster. You can use the speed to your advantage during chases and also when patrolling gents. And by the way, I'm not talking about the speed you get from the Windstorm add-ons. The point is, it is better to cloak yourself when you want to go quickly to a certain place on the map and also when you decide to commit to chasing a survivor. You can cloak yourself to use the speed boost, get close to the survivor and then cloak for a surprise attack. Now some people might argue that cloaking and then cloaking during a chase will just consume more time. So for that doubt, I did the test myself. I'm going to show you the speed difference when chasing a survivor while cloaked and and close. Watch it till the end. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, then please leave a like and help this video grow. And if you have a few tips of your own that you would like to share, then please do so in the comments down below. 
And in case you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then what the hell are you waiting for? Do it right now, hit the subscribe button, make me happy. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one, till then, stay safe, eat well, sleep well and flex for out.